I see. I, I, I don't. I don't agree with my friend Saiful very often. But the one thing I would agree with what you just said is that actually there is a need, and I, and I did even in my presentation. What can more of us as Malaysians do about the situation? I think very often, sometimes a lot of issues seem to be hijacked by minority groups, which are extreme. And I think there's a lot more that we as perhaps uh, informed uh, majority should do. Whether it's something that's wrong, we should depending on respective of where we come from or who we belong to, if it's wrong, we should all collectively, you know, speak up against it. And similarly, if we can find some area where, you know, things are important country, we can come together and agree, that would be so much, so much better. Now, the one, you know, there are a lot of issues raised, but I think, I know there's a lot of comment about saying, let's address the structural issues, and let's not have a lot of what are seen as stopgap or individual measures. Now, there is an effort to drive transformation at the government level, at the economic level. And perhaps for many of us in this room, perhaps there is a lot of skepticism because sometimes it seems a little bit little, too little too late. But there is an effort and there are many of us within the government who are trying to drive change. But whilst the structural reforms take root, there is also a need for short-term measures. Because there's also an element of chicken and egg because one of the issues that's highlighted in terms of brain drain is that there is an incentive to migrate due to income, income differential. And so we want to move the economy up towards being a developed nation so that then this income differential is no longer there. But to get there, we then need to bring in the right talent, whether it's top foreign talent, whether it's um, you know, Malaysians who went abroad and got some experience which you know, we are short on. So we do sometimes need to use measures which Saifu calls discriminatory. Um, but actually, all countries have done that. Even Taiwan, when they brought back those people to drive the electronic sector, they came in with special equity packages to basically drive these, drive these programs. Because at the end of the day, we need to make tough choices. And we need to make sure we have the right people to ensure we succeed. And so sometimes there are need for potentially short-term, but potentially controversial, but measures to at least build up that, that momentum. And so it comes back to the issue about we need critical mass uh, in, in various areas for the economy and perhaps for the political economy. And I guess if somehow or another, each of these individual measures, perhaps they seem like stopgap, if there are enough of us each trying to do our bit to change for the better, I think our country will succeed. I remember once having a, a Twitter exchange with uh, YB, and we are talking about Malaysia's abroad, and I said, actually, we're actually on the same page because we want more of our best and brightest to come back and contribute to this change. So I hope the gentleman over there doesn't lose, lose faith because we need as many of us in the country keeping that faith, keeping that hope that we can still contribute and make Malaysia as great as it deserves to be.